Hey, Orange One here. So I didn't intend for this to be its own video, so it might seem a little strange. I might be referring to some things in my previous video on how to grow a channel. Um, this is going to be primarily deep diving into some of the stats to show you some more things about like um, what country people are, are viewing my videos from and what gender they are and all kinds of little things like that. So if you're interested in checking that stuff out, this is where you should be. Enjoy. Uh, so I think I've talked about most of the things that I want to talk about, but I want to deep dive into the stats at this point. So if we go back uh, to YouTube, I'm just going to basically just fly around and show you some interesting things that I've noticed over, uh, over the years on here. So, oh yeah, also... You probably saw this a little bit, but recently I've had Bannerlord games that have, or Bannerlord uh, content that's done well. It's another game that's in beta, the closed beta, but I managed to get access to it and due to the limited supply of YouTubers, uh, I've got a, a pretty good uh, place in YouTube for getting this stuff. So you can see that this has actually been getting pretty decent amount of views like this one's almost hit 2k I haven't had that in quite a while and um, as you can see all of these are very similar videos just different factions and they're recommending um, each other so if somebody watches this one they're likely to watch that one and likely to watch that one and by the time they've watched 10 of my videos they, you know they're probably a fan or they're um, much more likely to get recommended my stuff in the future uh, so yeah, that, that was one other thing I kind of want to show you guys. I wouldn't call it tutorials, but it is kind of a teaser for content that is going to come out for that game that's unique, that no one else has uploaded before. Um, okay, so deep dive on the stats. I'm super excited for this. So there's a couple stats that I thought y'all would be interested in. Uh, most of them are kind of right here. There's views and then there's watch time but you can see that my views really went up and then it went down in the last like week or so so i re started releasing some of the Banner lord content like around here i think and then i i started getting more popularity due to that the videos kind of took off and they stopped getting as many views but um i'm still getting quite a bit of watch time so my watch time has increased I like that audience that i caught from Banner lord is, is still with me um Subscribers, that just shows you how many are being added each day. It's not that significant. Uh, there is also some other cool things that you can check out. I'm going to basically go through all this stuff. Uh, but you can look at, uh, what is it? Uh, Click-through rate. You know, I know a lot of people say click-through rate is really important. It really matters on the content that you're putting out, though. Like, look at this. This has 14% uh, recommendation, but it still only has just over a thousand views. Like, my most click-through video is by far not my most popular video. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, it's it is important as a video game YouTuber, but I think it's more about cultivating. Uh, that reputation within that niche community than it is about things like that. You know, I think the thumbnails thing is more for like a a viral video. Personally, I mean, I could be I could be wrong. I think that stuff does count, but a uh, click through rate is basically someone's watching your video or if they see it on their um, suggested videos, do they actually click on it, which is definitely important, but um, you can get yourself steamrolling other ways like using Reddit and whatnot. Um, there's also other things that we can pull up here. Average view duration, you can watch that, like, and see how that goes with popularity. Like, look, some of my videos right here that's, they're, uh, ranked is very highly clicked on are not viewed very much. Uh, the ones that I've got a lot of views on, I've got a decent decent watch time I and mean, for like some of these that's most of the video right uh so it, if you want to grow you gotta have people watch for a while which is why i like doing the um the intro 
and an overview to give people an idea of what's come up so they can always click ahead and then watch the part that they want to watch and then go from there instead of just exiting out of the video you know uh so there's also things like um where where would it be I'm not seeing there was there was something else I was thinking of showing you guys. I think it was like end screen elements shown and clicked. I do do that on some videos and not all of my videos, but like you can see that these end screen elements are super super useful. Like this one's gotten a lot of views and then it's getting clicked on nearly 20% of the time I think is what it's saying there. Um and that and that sends to them to other tutorials of mine so you definitely want those end screen elements in there okay so here's here's something that's also pretty cool is you can look at all of this stuff and i i have spent so much time on this it's kind of crazy uh i don't think i think we can get rid of these guys because it's like it's getting confused it doesn't like that one uh we'll also get rid of that so you can see like where people are coming from for me over my lifetime most of them have gone it through the browse or suggested or youtube search so most of the time people are searching for my things like that's the importance of having good titles keywords descriptions all lining up if you have good descriptions people will search for it and they'll find it um i do link a fair amount to like reddit so that's probably a big chunk of where this is all coming from uh yeah, it's, you know, these, these other things are, yeah, you can, as say playlists are, are pretty significant, but really over 50, well, about 50% is from browsing and searching for me. So you definitely want to make sure you've done a good job with uh, thumbnails and uh, keywords for optimizing those two things. But I think it's more about the keywords personally. Uh, the geography is kind of interesting. This has actually changed a lot for me over the time. I've got nearly nearly 50% from the United States, but when I was a small-time YouTuber, like... Oh gosh, I don't know. Can I do, like, from here to there? Can I do that? No, I can't. So I can see... Yeah, not kind of hard to see if you can do that. Uh... A custom range. Can I go like... I wanted to do like... This time 2019 or something. Ah, whatever. It's not a big deal. Basically, as I've grown as a channel, I've gotten more people in the US uh, watching my stuff. It's been kind of interesting. Like there was people in like Japan who were watching my Cataclysm series, but I think... Then once I got the United States market, things really kicked off and grew quite a bit. Um, viewer age. This, this is almost comical. Most of my viewers are my age. And there's almost nobody who's less than 18 and very few people older than 44. You know? <laughs> right? Sure, it kind of makes sense, but I thought that this was kind of uh, an interesting thing to, to look at as to how the ages are being split. Apparently there's some people over 65. They're watching it. I'm impressed. <laughs> uh, oh, this one. Okay, you will find this one funny. Hey there, fellas. Hello, the few, the brave, the females. Uh, yeah, we got... Um, this has actually gone up. It was actually at 0 0.1 for like a super long time. Uh, it's it is what it is. I think that Cataclysm and Kenshi and whatnot, for whatever reason, have a largely male audience, almost exclusively. Not exclusively, but almost. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I've recently monetized, um, so there's a little bit of income right there. But I feel like I haven't had it been monetized for very long, so it's kind of hard to look at that statistically. Here I've got. Uh, View time of not subscribed and subscribed, so you can see most of my videos are being viewed by not subscribed people. So, yeah, sure, my subscriber 
number isn't very high, but there's some other interesting things going on there. Uh, subscription source. That watch page. So they're like watching videos or searching. Mostly watching videos, they're, so they're watching things. Makes sense. They're going to subscribe if they like it, right? Here we got the playlists uh, as they've been viewed, and you can see oh, this one. I want to change the time frame because sure this kind of matches what we've been talking about, but my old Cataclysm series is actually uh, quite a bit more popular than my current one. I think that's because this is my first series, and it's just older, and uh, it's uh, it's a longer series as well. So there's a number of factors uh, working out for me with that. But if I go to my last seven days. This switches. So now Nash is like doing great. You know, Nash is getting way more views. And Kenji Hivers only is very, very popular. The tutorial's also still very popular. But if I go to like uh last three months, none of this stuff will switch. Um, but for the most part it stays the same. But yeah, I've had some loyal people watching this series for a while, so it's doing pretty well. This, I don't really look at so much. The device type is kind of interesting. Um, I have tried to make my videos easier to view by making the text larger for mobile phones, uh, but it hasn't been uh, like a large chunk of my viewership. I mean, it's actually, no, it is. It's like 30%. So I think it, it makes up for it trying to uh, adjust things for the, this audience because if I look back or if I do just like this last month I'm curious how this splits yeah it's it's similar um, yeah I think that that's pretty much all of the main stats I want to show you guys uh, I there is there used to be this way of seeing the geography as a map uh, and I I did enjoy that it's thing bar chart or line chart. I hate to do this with a map, but I don't know. I'm not seeing it right now. Yeah. Okay. In any case, I think that's enough stats and stuff for now. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.